Hey everyone, we're back here for round three of this anniversary event, 11th anniversary phantom sealed event, and I won the die roll, and I will be mulliganing my six times three drop, six drop times three hand, having a hard time multitasking, typing, and thinking. Uh, yes, I would love to mulligan. Well... So this hand seems fine. I think I go Iron Mirror into Test Subject. Probably now we go Iron Mirror into Sentinels, even though Flash is nice. Like a nice trick. Okay, whenever it dies. That's pretty good against my deck. At least it doesn't have reach. And dead. <laughs> Had it. Okay. So this game is starting off quite nicely for us. Unfortunately, I've got a target on my Iron Mirror now because we can flash back the suit <coughs> excuse me still uh, unwinding from our last defeat Whew. hopefully I can make sure that nothing like that happens this game uh, I was kinda thinking more reach hmm Awkward. Anyway, I was trying to think of things to discuss while playing, besides just the game. Um, I have played, I think, limited... I didn't play any Mirrodin or Onslaught, but I think I've played limited of every other format in this event. to varying degrees of success. I really like the the gold theme sets and I like Scars of Mirrodin a ton. I think that, um, even though this is normal Mirrodin, I think that Scars really showcased the um, the triple or the reverse format drafting. Like, um, Starting with the newest set that has the most pronounced thematics. And I don't even know, is that bad manner? I'm not sure. But the, um, the themes that were laid forth in New Phyrexia, and then um, how they kind of conflict as you go back, like you see Infect go into different colors in the last set, and then the Infect players had to kind of like plan ahead if they're going to go into green or black, and how there were like interesting tensions happening, and tons of cards were good in the sideboard. Hmm.
I think I like just attacking with the worm coil and then EOT make this into a gigantic gigantic but um, let me think champions I didn't draft a whole lot of it seemed fine um, a lot more fun and limited than it was in constructed that's for sure well let's see what happens with this guy probably should block first to make sure that I can actually block that was a mistake to pump it at all I guess that he could have like trick bind and time spiral and I'd feel like an idiot, <laughs> but I don't know why anyone would play trick bind main. So, is this dying? No? Surely this is dying. Yeah, okay. That's why. He's waiting to flip it to get him on the super cheap. So I was right, Disembowel is in Ravnica. And... <laughs> hmm... guess I'll just start this plan. Kaiga Brothers. Um, anyway, so like the, the arcane themes, ninjas, uh, Soul Shift kind of theme, Bushido. Like the, the set was pretty fun as a limited set. What did he... Oh, he killed this dude. He drew a card. So now we're in an awkward stalemate. Okay, so active player goes on the stack first. Uh, let's let's think Huntmaster. Yeah, active player goes on the stack first. So if I draw my dragon, then I can keep control of my worm coil. Interesting. His own dragon? Yep. Whew. Well, I guess I still have like a spell bomb to deal with that. Let's think here. So like I can also kill the thrumming bird or the bramble with the suit combined with my battle mage. Okay, now let's see how good Worm Coil Engine is. Oh. 
that guy's mammoth. This pool looks pretty similar. Okay. How am I going to get back into this? We have Kaiga, we have... no, Rinflesh doesn't really do anything. Kaiga and Spellbomb? Okay, so if he... If he attacks with one, I'm just going to block and nag my own guy out. Prevent some life gain. Although not all of it. I can't really take a hit from any of his creatures because of the noble. This guy is cute. Okay, so I guess that I need to finally kill this, which sucks. Giving our opponent three points of life. and putting me in a very precarious situation. And dead. Okay. Maybe that means... Mm, the, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, by color. I think that this... and... Where are you, Journey? I think that these two buddies come in. And we take out, like, uh, Changeling. Take out this. Take out this. Probably... Probably lose some of our flyers because he has that ground guy that's pretty annoying that shoots my dudes. Mm. Are there any other white creatures that I want to bring in? Or white spells? I don't think so, but I still. Let's see here, I cut four. Or Cut three cards, only brought in two. Hmm. Do I want like the chromatic sphere against this guy? The color fix? Maybe I just want like the signet. And then two whites. It gives us three white sources. And then we have petals to dig a little and. Uh, we can get a white source with our infiltrator, or get the journey with our infiltrator. And we have think twice to dig a little. 
not the most exciting. Uh, powers, right? Plus or equal, that guy definitely is not doing very much. <sighs> Do I want to bring in like the induced paranoia against him? Uh, stab wound, these all killed stuff that seemed annoying. Sentinels, Snapping Drake, Gomazoa seems okay against him having a dragon, but maybe I actually don't want it. Okay. No. We'll play second. Did I press no? And this hand looks serviceable. Okay, Worm Coil again. Fun. And the ability to kill enchantments also fun. Sure, we'll take that. Is he playing like five color green or something? Maybe. So confused. Huh, I just noticed that apparition is indeed a spirit. And he must have known my sideboard plan. <laughs> well, we're going to try to grind this one out. First sign of weakness. Okay. And unfortunately, I think I just want to try to kill this. Nice. I was guessing that with his density of spells and being a ton of colors, that probably we wouldn't see a, um, a pump spell. Whoa. Hmm. Land? Well, I guess I have to kill this guy now. <laughs> Which means that this dies. Ugh. Okay. So I'm kind of liking, I guess that with 11 packs, all the decks are going to be kind of stacked, and I'm kind of liking it. It's definitely better than what I thought was just all of my stupid rares bashing against people that were, like, opening Savage Beatings and, um, let's think of like a fun Innistrad rare. Vindestrad rares are mostly pretty good, I guess. Isn't Seance from Dark Ascension? 
Mm, maybe like Army of the Damned. That guy's or that spell's pretty bad. Uh, Grimori is pretty bad. Those are mythics. What other? Aw, our poor opponent. A non morbid spider. Yep. Well, we'll attack in, gain more life. And I, I'm gonna think twice again. Oh, our opponent lost connection. Okay, we'll pause the video. Okay, just a temporary disconnect. Uh, this block makes sense to me. Yeah. Cute. Maybe we're going to out rare him this game. Two, three, yeah. What's this? Like, travel prep? The foul. That's fair. Guy that can't attack. I think I mean look at my deck list. So I only have a Strix left to transmute for. I don't think I played this, even though I really want to just run it out. I'm trying to think of the Demir two drops. There's what Dust Mantle Mage. Um, are there any other? Black, blue, there's Woodlock Crawler. Yeah, that is just gonna die. That's fine. Did we force a third game? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So our opponent brought in, or perhaps had, a way to deal with all, <coughs> excuse me, our enchantments. Hmm. That's unfortunate, but I don't think I'm going to change anything. Okay. We have one of our dragons. 
This seems fine. And card advantage. I think what I do... Well, let's see what we draw. If I go up to 5 land with this draw step, I'll cycle the more. Okay, we'll just play the more then. Oh, neat. Okay, so this is how much? Four. Even though I've seen Dismember, I think I'm just going to run this out. Or not Dismember, Disembowel. I'm just going to run this out. I think we'll not want to cast it on six because I'll Petals and I'll probably... Aww, aggro. I'll probably want to um, use my mana on turn six for something else, possibly even the Induced Paranoia. Hmm. Iron Mirror here? If I Iron Mirror, then I can Petals next turn. Yeah. I like that better. And it could be that this draws out the Disembowel. Oof. I'm gonna start taking big hits. Or not. What is this? Flanking. Okay. Dead weight. Sucks. Um. Hmm. Petals take six. Maybe take nine. That can't be right. I may just have to trade my dragon for this stupid knight. Okay, well, let's see if this guy resolves. Okay, so I got cracked by the Skyward Eye. Unfortunately, he's got his black black up. Maybe this was a big mistake. I was too busy not paying attention <laughs> to the second black. I mean, could just offer the knight as a trade here, or build up the force, I guess. Okay. Well, I have to continue developing my board. Okay, so... We'll just offer up a sacrifice. Mm, why is my motor lagging so much? Okay, let's pedals. 
No, thank you. And I'll tag with that guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely just going to take five here. Yep. Now, I think I want to leave up suit and induce paranoia. And then I've got one activation of this still. Like if he attacks with both of those, I just eat this guy and then if he activates that I kill it. Okay. Well, now I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Let's think here. We have nine mana, enough to cast all of our spells. We're going to use the Indiana main phase. And I actually don't counter something that can interact in the air. Okay, I think we may have squeezed this one out. I always thought that the morph mechanic was kind of awkward. Like, the last thing that I want to see on the battlefield is a card that's upside down. It's kind of confusing. I, if I remember right, the limited format was really skill intensive for, like, mind games because people were just trying to bluff <coughs> when they were attacking. Excuse me. Okay, I think I just managed not to die. Um, people are trying to bluff and set up favorable blocks when they attack with morphs. Like, and every deck had as many gray ogres as it wanted, so I guess that's kind of cool. But flavor wise, I just. Or not flavor wise, even, just. I hate how they interact with the board. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, let's... Get some attacks in. Mm, do I just attack with everything? Yeah, let's just attack with everything. This guy gets chumped, I gain a life. And then I can even prevent damage to myself with my battle mage, right? That would dealt to me, yeah. Hmm. Mind rot, huh? 
Well, I guess that gets countered. Prevent two damage to myself. Okay, what is this? Oh, just tapping for the psych. All right, so we're up to two one despite losing to our own worm coil in game one, and let's see what the last round has in store for us.